Hey guys, it's Adam, aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Card Wars. I'm joined once again by Daniel. Hello. Last time we beat Ash, Marceline's ex girlfriend, but he beat us right after that, so we gotta rematch him. We gotta look out for those Hercules. They are very tough. And yeah. uh, this is the first wall we've hit in a while. The Wall of Years. <laughs> he had one of those as well. I wanna get one of those. They're really weird. They're like all defensive, but you can flip them to make them like stronger. They're pretty cool. Oh, we can even see the, uh, the Ice King's palace in the background. That's kind of cool. I think that's where we're headed eventually. All right, little hot dog floop. Oh, that was too powerful. That's all right. Oh, no. All right, let's see. It's really hard to anticipate what he's going to do when I have that my first turn. You know. Let's try the burning hand. That's something I just got recently. And uh, I guess I'm going to do this just because I want my magic. Hopefully I don't take too much damage. Those Hercules, their floop is so good, they'll just knock a creature out before they even attack. That's what I'm worried about. All right, let's see what he does. The Hercules are so cute. They are cute. You'd think a big old <laughs> eyeball with strong arms popping out of it wouldn't be that cute, but... Oh, he's got a traveling farmer. Doesn't look like he drew any Hercules this time, so that's a little lucky for me. But geez, look at all that. He just boosted his teeth leaf really strong. We're already taking a ton of damage here. Oh no, it's a risk. Nice, that was close. All right, now we can go crazy. Let's see, I'm gonna use my, my little Husker Knight here. Hopefully we can boost some attack. I just gotta take these guys down and they don't take that much to kill. So I think we're in a good position here. Make sure I flip my Scholar. I'm having a lot of fun with this game and this is just a really good time to be a fan of Adventure Time and a fan of video games because I'm actually also having a lot of fun with the Finn and Jake's Epic Quest. I started playing that recently. But it's weird, because for a while there, we didn't really have very many good Adventure Time games. Ooh, that's pretty good, yeah. Floop. That's going to lower his defense by two, so now he's vulnerable. All right, I think we're good here. I don't want a Floop Ethan that kills him. All right, let's go. <laughs> but yeah, I'm enjoying both of these. I'm not sure which one I like better, because they're both different. Like, this is less action-y, but it's still exciting. And it's got more strategy, whereas the other one's got a lot more, like, action stuff. There we go. All right. Doing much better. Hopefully he doesn't have much in his hand. There's that wall of years. So you can hurt yourself to get power with that, but look, he's got zero attack and 18 defense, so he's gonna barely do... Oh, that's enough to kill my my hand, though. Ooh, look what we got here. A lot of this is luck of the draw. So I think we can do, yeah. I think he's done for. <laughs> got my corn Ronin. All right, and I'm going to flip him. And I think we'll finish with flipping the corn Ronin. I only have a couple of cards in my hand, but that's still gonna be, blam, six attack on there. Whoa. All right, let's do this. Oh, and also we can do that. Aha, very nice. Boost him. The only problem with the corn Ronin, he is just like, one cerebral bloodstorm is all it takes to take him down. Oh, that was close. I think we're doing pretty good though. We might kill him very quickly here. Oh, oh that was so close. Can we? Oh no, I'm fighting the wall of ears. So yeah, look how defensive it is, but if it keeps flooping, it switches its hit points out for attack. So you can kind of do what you want with it. Whoop! Nice. Yeah, he's just, he's dead. I'm not even gonna bother. He's got one HP. We got him. That's crazy yeah. how sometimes it's like super tough and sometimes it's like super easy. What were you saying? So it's the heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. <laughs> I like, <laughs> I did watch a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh when I was younger, but I never got that into it. We mentioned like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. There, I think that was another one where it was like these cards are really cool looking, but I'm not that into like you know playing or watching the show that much. I think a lot of this yeah. is Magic: The Gathering based as well because there's like the different lands and stuff. All those, all those classic card games. I guess Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of classic now. It's not even that old. Ooh, Evil Eye. I think that's actually a pretty good card. I kind of like like a game like this that like keeps track of the rules for you. Yeah, it's like D and D is one of those things too, where if you want to play it like and play it the normal way, it's it's like really intensive to keep track of all the numbers and stuff. But if you have a game that does it for you, then it's a lot easier. We need a bone wand to make that guy. And I think we could make something else, the merman, but he's not that useful because he's a swamp card. Let's go back into battle and hopefully we will beat Ash one last time. There he is. Blam. He's going all swamp now. He's just not fooling around. Going full swamp. That means... <laughs> never go full swamp. Uh, that means he's going to probably use more Hercules. Uh-oh. Because that is a swamp card. 
but we'll see what he does. I don't know. I think we can beat him. A lot of my deck is based around just getting the one or two cards that are really good, but <laughs> I don't know. It, it, some people have recommended to not really put that many cards in your deck because then you get the ones you want. Like, you don't have to have the limit of how many cards. I'm gonna do. I like having stuff that's more defensive in the lane, in some of the lanes, now that I have like a couple guys that are really good at attacking. So then it's just like, okay, it's safer in those lanes and I don't have to worry about getting hit. Uh, we can't actually do all of this. Let's do that. I think I can boost my Husker Knight. We'll finish with that, because yeah, I don't have enough creatures here. That's what I'm always worried about. Like, I got a bunch of sand creatures, but I only have one sand lane. Alright, let's see. Oh no, the merman! I don't like him. Three for each enemy creature in the like, it's hard to read the whole thing quick enough. Yeah. There's the evil eye. Ugh, that lowers your attack like crazy. Can really mess you up. If he, if he floops on you. Oh, dang. Oh, no. The teeth leaf. No. Okay. Hopefully we get something good here. Man. Um, I can put him down, I guess. Let's see. Okay, when I try to floop him, we should see what it says. It says, floop the farmer Paul. That's different from the farmer iPad Paul? one. It was like something else too. Weird. There's also a glitch in that one. If you like mash the flute button, it'll do it twice and use twice as much magic. But I think they might have fixed that. Um, I can actually boost this one zoom. because then I yeah this, this lane is open. I've never I've heard him say zoom before. All right, so I'm gonna take another merman hit, but let's try it. <laughs> Blam! <laughs> hit from the merman. Uh, merman. It's another, <laughs> he referenced another Ben Stiller movie, and then <laughs> the merman <laughs> thing is Zoolander. All right, let's see. He's got a sand castle too. No. You can tell if somebody uses a card that you've already, like someone's already used, then it doesn't zoom in on it. Oh no. Ugh. Man, that's so fast. Did you see that? It's crazy. Nope. Well, the, the sand angel had no attack anyways. <gasps> Let's see, I think we better take the merman down. What else do we got here? We are just running out of stuff though. Um, his flute costs two. Crap. Hmm. I think we, we still have enough to kill him. Let's just put this guy here. Come on, little sand angel. There we go. And then I think I can floop her. Maybe? Mayhaps? Mayhaps? Alright. Yeah, because the teeth leaf's not going to do that much, but I would really like to have something in that lane. We'll see. Alright, let's go Ronin. Just a normal hit. There you go. Out of there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, the wheel's getting way faster. It's crazy. I can barely get it in the spots that I need. All right. That's not going to be too bad, I don't think. Yeah, even if I don't block. Man, how many sand castles you got in there? It's got a bucket and a pail. Yeah, that evil eye. It just completely messes you up. There we go. Ah. Oh, now the corner and can hit next turn. I'm super happy. We just really need to block that teeth leaf. Oh, no. Okay. Do we got something? Yes, we do. Oh, I should have flipped my Ronin first, but that's okay. And, yep, we can do that. It's only going to get a little bit because I got one card in my hand. I think we're in a good spot here. Let's do this. And I'm just going to boost my Ronin because I really don't want him to die. And that's about it. Let's do it. I'm not going to spend all of them. Yeah, Ethan, I've, I don't think I've ever used Ethan All Fires loop because it kills him and it lowers the attack of the opponent but it's like oh. it's just kind of a waste because you like a lose a guy thing? zero attack <laughs> that's what happens with the wall of ears oh he's getting something back i'm really surprised he hasn't gotten a herculi at this point let's see that's the merman back from the grave his watery grave <laughs> fountain of forgiveness <gasps> oh it heals equal to attack Okay, let's be careful. Here! No! Okay, he's still good. Uh, he's still good. No! <laughs> Sand Angel! I think we're okay, actually. Because, look, we got two guys. We're going to do exactly one more than we need to do. Let's just do this. Just in case. I think we're good. It sounded like, sound like you said Smiley Joe. But you said what? Sand Angel. <laughs> Sand Angel. <laughs> Smiley Joe! You had a cool character. Named Snarly Joe that you oh. came up with. It was a Velociraptor pirate. I yes. love that character. Pirate captain. Aww. He's got his hands learned to spin a wheel and hoist <laughs> the jib and everything. Ah, oh, Finn leveled up. All right. 
We did it! Sweet! Alright, thank you guys for watching and sticking with us. We made it through, we got another teeth leaf. Let's see who we're gonna fight next time. And we will do it on the next episode. Make sure you check out Finn and Jake's Epic Quest if you like Adventure Time, because that is another very fun Adventure Time game that I'm playing currently. Who are we going up against, and what can we craft? We got another heart, that's always good. I'll probably switch back to Jake for next time. We can make the Psychic Tempest. I wonder if that's any good. Sounds like a spell, and... <gasps> It's Ricardio. Oh my. <laughs> we have to oh fight no. him next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and we'll see you then for more Card Wars. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>